Okay, the first thing we're going to go grab is a video game. It's a Nintendo DS game. Let's see which one it is. It's not that one. It is this one. We have a Nintendo DS, Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games. We picked this up at a local yard sale you know, a couple months ago. It's been sitting here. Uh, the one thing I did with this, though, was I ended the auction and, it, and did the sell similar. That way, it would boost it back up in the search rankings, and it worked. It sold within six hours of me doing that for the same price I've had it listed at for months. So we ended up getting $5.99 plus shipping on this. Has the manual and the game. Okay, so we got a big item going out here. This is a grill cover. Let me grab it here without anything falling. It is a KitchenAid 56 inch grill cover. Uh, gray, we flip it around. We found this at the Amazon bin store. Uh, five or 10 bucks for this, I think it was 10 though. We end up getting $34.99 plus shipping on this. This thing is pretty heavy. Uh, it was a brand new open box. I did put a little bit of tape on it to close it up. Yeah, this one should be fun to ship. I think I have a, I think it's gonna go to a poly bag and ship that way. Okay, so the next thing going out is a Cabbage Patch doll, actually. I think it's this one right here. It's Emmett the Hippo. Let's see if this is it. Let's see, yep, it's Emmett the Hippo. We picked this up at bottom dollar and yeah, I think we paid about three bucks two or three dollars for this one we ended up getting 11.99 plus shipping on this one so not a bad deal it was the bottom dollar had toys buy one get one free so we did really well with these we still have one more of these left then the next thing going out is in on the Punta Cana shelf again and I'm glad this thing's finally going I'm gonna move this real quick it is these Xbox one stereo headset uh the brand new in box but the box has a ton of damage to it uh, we picked this up at a yard sale wait uh no state sale sorry a state sale i think we paid about 10 bucks for these we got 11 dollars 54 and we had these for a long time uh they just they did not sell the way we thought they were going to uh when i scanned these at the state sale i really thought Based on the sole comps, these are way better, but they definitely didn't sell, so uh, we really didn't make much on these, and it just shows you sometimes you win some, sometimes you lose some, and we barely won something here. Okay, so we are heading to the Magic Kingdom bin. Let's see if we can find this without tearing this thing apart too much. Let's see. It is a Pinewood Derby piece. You guys are probably going to spot it before me. Let's see. It's probably underneath everything. I don't see it. This is great. I don't see it. Hold on, give me a second. Okay, I found this. This bin really needs cleaned up. It is Pinewood Derby actual straightener. This thing's pretty heavy. This thing's solid metal. We end up getting two dollars and ninety-nine cents for this. Uh, these don't sell for much. I really thought they did, but they don't. But we end up getting this for free, so our cost of goods is zero. So if we don't make much on these. We do have two more of these left. We sold a bunch of them. So happy to see that head out. Also, we sold a pair of bowling shoes. These are Dexter size 11 and a half uh, men's bowling shoes. We got $11.24 for these. We still have one more pair of bowling shoes left. Uh, these came from a buy we made. We got two bowling balls, two bags, two pairs of shoes, all for a buck. So we've sold pretty much everything. We have one pair of shoes left. And after that, that we... we officially cleared out so this was a really good return on investment from what we bought and then we go to the Gettysburg bin I'll put that thing back soon this is gonna be easy to grab looks like we only have one we only have one more pair of those a pair of Mickey Mouse show your colors mouse ears pride the pride ears uh, brand new with tags uh, five dollars plus shipping on these ones uh, we bought a bunch of these from a local thrift store so They've been selling recently really, really well. Happy to see these going. I just mentioned this in a previous video. These colors on this thing are amazing. They pop really nice, and that logo is really cool too. Okay, we are heading for the pan bin. It's right here. Which I'm not sure why I call it the pan bin. And it looks like it's buried, but we're gonna get it out of here. Yeah, right here. This is the Bible experience. It's a ton of. Uh, CDs. It's the Bible on CD. I think it's about 60 total CDs. 
found this at a local thrift store. We paid $2.99 for it. We sent out the best offer of $24.24 plus shipping, and somebody took it. So happy to see this go. It does weigh a ton, so I think it's going to go media mail unless the person paid for priority. Okay, so we are heading to the Sandbridge bin. We sold the office door sign right here. This is actually what it looks like right here. It's pretty cool. Uh, I kept this one for myself and we sold this one. So they take off the plastic covering and that's what it looks like. It has 3M tape on the back, but we actually put magnets on the back of ours so that it would stick something metal. Kind of cool. $6.24. This is heading out the door. This didn't last long. Uh, we have $2.50 into this one. Okay, so the next thing we're getting is some fish tank filters, which are up here. I'm gonna move this real quick. And they're right here. They are the Marine Land Right Size C6 fish filters. They're the power filter cartridge. They look like this. Six of them in there, $16.09. We recently got rid of our fish tank. Our fish, our last fish died, and we're getting ready to redo our dining room slash kitchen in the middle part. So we got rid of the fish tank. So we had a brand new pack of these filters. These filters sell. If you're ever out of the yard sale and you find fish tank filters, take a look at them. Especially if they're especially if there's a full pack, because some of these fish tank filters are super expensive. So that is one thing to keep a lookout for at a yard sale, estate sale, even thrift stores and Goodwills. People just donate them after the fish tank goes. They don't have no more fish. Guess what? They got to sell their fish filters. So keep an eye out for fish filters. Okay, we're going to go over here to the Punta Cana shelf. Sorry for the mess, guys. We had a huge disaster. Our old shelf that was actually over here fell. Well, super close to falling. It was a cheaper shelf. Must have got too heavy. And it started to lean yesterday. So I had to go out and buy a new shelf. This was actually the second one because the first one was next to impossible to put together and I didn't even feel comfortable having it up. So I found this heavy duty shelf, which should hold really well. Um, it's, yeah, it's an industrial shelf. This one should work, but on to why we're actually here. We are going to grab the Sony Discman. This Sony Discman, the D-66, found this at a yard sale, five bucks we paid for it. Uh, it's still in the original box. I'm gonna put this light on. It's still a little bit early in the morning here. Yeah, original box, it has, all, it has everything in it. I'm not even sure if it was actually really used, but I listed it as used. We ended up getting, we took a best offer of $20 on it. We had it listed for $29. I figured, hey, get it out of here. Uh, it's been sitting on a shelf here and I just haven't even listed it. So 20 bucks, five into 20, four times my money. I'm happy with this one. Kind of sad to see this one go, only because I had one of these when I was younger. And this kind of brings back some childhood memories seeing a, a Walkman because that was the way you listen to music walking around because you didn't have a phone. So super cool. Hopefully somebody could put good use to this and yeah, it's finding a new home. Okay, so the next thing we're going to grab is in the Magic Kingdom bin. Let's go find it. Sorry for being dark over here again. Here's the Magic Kingdom bin. It should be near the front. Yeah, the piece in this bag right here. This thing out. One of those uh, Pinewood Derby axles right here. This is the axle straightener. We have one left. We have nothing into this. Cost of goods is zero. We got $2.99 plus shipping on that. Heading out one more. It took a while for these to sell, but once they started to sell, they sold pretty quickly. Also, look how clean it is in here. Everything's cleaned up. Everything is in bins. All this stuff needs listed in here. Sorry, it needs to focus. There's some jeans. All these bins even have some stuff down here. It needs list. This is the bigger stuff. Some of this stuff, too, is a little bit higher priced. I'm not sure if I showed it in another video or not, but we actually got a new shelf over here because the old shelf was about to fall over. So this one's a little bit bigger, a little bit heavy duty. -er. Got some stuff on there. A couple bins are, are the death pile. Some of that stuff is listed, but we are working on it and trying to get this death pile down to zero and get everything listed to make a profit. Next, we're going to the Niagara Falls bin. I'm not sure where that's even at. Uh, you guys probably see it already. I don't. Hope it's down here in the corner. Down here, and it's all the way in that back. It's that camera. Oh, there it is. Let's get it. Let's get it. I can't get it. Oh, there's the flash. Nope, that's the camera. I just gotta get the flash. There we go. 
I'll show it to you in a second. So this is a Polaroid land camera with the with the light, everything. Picked this up at a yard sale. I don't remember how much we paid, and it wasn't much. It also came with a case too. I'm gonna sell the case separately. Sixteen dollars plus shipping on this. Finally heading out. Finally got it listed, and it sold within a day. So the next thing to go out. Uh, I'm kind of sad to see it go, but also happy to see it go. Also. The reseller thank you cart is heading out of here. Uh, if you guys don't know about this, go check out my Instagram. Uh, also, go check out the auction on eBay. But it's signed by some resellers, some YouTubers and whatnot. Everybody who's auctioning it off is donating the money. So we raised $47 heading to Young Life. And also, Rachel Strickland won this. So, Rachel, this is on its way to you. And I'm going to throw some stickers in for you. Maybe you can put them to good use. And the next thing going on is in actually one of our new bins. PPG Paints Arena bin. It is the Arlo security cameras. Grab this out of here. It is the Arlo hub with three cameras, three batteries. It's pretty cool. Uh, we used this for a while, but it ended up going to something different, so we didn't need it. So guess what? It's heading out of here. This sold for full asking price of $204.99 plus shipping. So happy to see this leaving. Also, this, this sold within a day also, which was nice. Okay, I don't even have to go far for this next sale. I listed this and it sold within five minutes. I think I listed it too low. It's a monster high lot with four dolls and a bunch of accessories. Right there. We picked this up for five bucks at a yard sale. Uh, I listed it for $49.99 plus shipping. I was hoping it was going to fit in a priority mail flat rate envelope and I think it will. But man, I really think I listed this too low. Uh, right before a buyer hit the buy it now, somebody else messaged me and said, hey, I'll buy this for 54 bucks. I thought to myself, hey, $49 and I only spent five? I'm super happy with that. And it, it's been sitting here and I've been staring at it and I finally got it listed. This is why a lot of resellers who are on YouTube and just even not on YouTube will tell you to list, 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 because when you list, you sell stuff. If you have stuff just sitting on a shelf over here, it's not going to sell itself. So we've been listing this weekend really hard. Uh, on Saturday, I actually got 43 listings done. So I'm almost at 20 today on Sunday, watching the Steeler game now. So just trying to catch up on some stuff so I can mail it out on Tuesday. And actually, why well, I still got you guys, I'm gonna go grab the next item too. I know this was actually in the video already. Probably one of the last items right before yeah, right before I just showed you the Monster High stuff, but this is the actual straightener, the Der Derby actual straightener, $2.99 plus shipping. That is the last one going out. We're officially done with these. It took long enough, but hey, I'm glad to see them out of here. Okay, now we have a wrestling figure going out, and Jesse the Body Ventura is heading out. Let's get him out of here. Right here. $9.99 plus shipping. A uh, bunch of old wrestling figures I had was I was a kid and finally got them listed. Not in the best of shape, but still pretty cool for the time frame. Most of these are from the 1980s, like early 80s. Then we were going to head to the Magic Kingdom bin and I can already see it. It's a preview tape right here. Let's grab this thing out. It's a preview tape for the Ed Sullivan Show. Brand new sealed. $22.49 for this VHS tape. We have a quarter into that VHS tape. Do not sleep on sealed VHS tapes. I've said it before, I love selling sealed VHS tapes. I don't know if it's just a marketing thing right now, or not a marketing thing, but just a, hitting it at the right time right now. Sealed VHS tapes have been selling for a lot of people too, not just myself. So if you find sealed VHS tapes, pick them up check the comps and even if they don't really sell too much and you sell VH or VCR players you can pair them up with that when somebody buys it okay we're gonna go over here to the Punta Cana shelf and grab the Wii Nintendo Wii most things are actually heavy now up for with one hand let's see if I can grab it yeah Nintendo Wii it says the Wii has two controllers two nunchucks I think if I remember correctly also has all the original paperwork, the sensor bar, also including three games, My Fitness Coach, let me fix this light, My Fitness Coach, Rock Band, and We Play. So the, we had this for a while, this is one of the ones that we used, and we ended up getting $99 plus shipping on this one. I also have a little helper down here right now. You wanna say hi? Hi! There you go. 
she's all set up where I take pictures at. She's doing her makeup. I stopped putting the lights on for her while she has her little uh, her little salon chair. She's down here having fun. They were out, actually outside playing in the snow, which I am going to show you some footage of that right now. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. We had about a foot of snow the other day and uh, they were just out there having a blast. Sled riding, helping a shovel. I was cold, but they still had fun. So she's down here having a blast, doing her makeup and yeah, she just woke up from a nap. Hey, do you want to tell everybody have a great day? No? Say have a great day. Okay, we are heading over here to the east end one and I think it's these. Let's see, one, two, three four five yep five lionel train catalogs these are the christmas catalogs we ended up getting four dollars and 24 cents for these we took a best offer there's the 2013 one there is the 2014 1994 which is probably the coolest one and then there was two of the 2012s perfect for these we actually got these for free so cost of goods is zero uh our neighbor was actually getting rid of them because they've been selling off their train sets which i told them hey i'm interested if you guys are selling them which i didn't know they were but they were actually getting rid of these for free so we grabbed these we also grabbed these are all lionel train catalogs here from various years some older ones some newer ones so these are all here that we have to get listed which is going to be next on my list so these are heading out medium mail, which I was thinking they might go first class, but yep, they are definitely over a pound. So yep, these will go out medium mail, get these packaged up and get these out tomorrow. Okay, next we have a basket going out. I think it's down here. Tremaine Brothers bin. Yeah, it's his Easter basket. This thing is creepy, guys. This has got that, the bunny head on it. Uh, brand new with tags. Original tags, $29.99, uh, but it's an Easter basket somebody's gonna put this to good use we ended up getting four dollars and 99 cents for this uh this came out of the marshall's not marshall's this came out of the michael's five dollar mystery boxes uh they normally do these after every season or holiday change uh there was a bunch of stuff in easter one and we were able to not a bunch of stuff, but we actually, the boxes cost five bucks and we've already sold a few things out of there. So this was pretty much straight profit for us. I'm actually glad this thing's out of here because the, the, the rabbit heads are really creepy. So yeah, I'm happy to see this one go. Happy to find a new home for it. Knew it was gonna sell when it got a little bit closer to Easter, but I just listed it and it actually sold pretty quickly. Could have probably tried to get more out of it, but it's taking up room in the bin. So get this thing out of here, find a new home. Okay, and the last thing going on in this video is a fish tank light, which is back here. Yeah, it's a marine land fish tank light, uh, LED light bar. Uh, again, we got rid of our fish tank, and this, we had this extra, so got $15 plus shipping on this. I think it's heading out to Ohio, and I'm hoping it's going to fit in a flat rain envelope, is my hope. And it will be close, but I think it'll definitely fit. Sorry about that, I moved the camera. But that'll be the last thing going out in this video. They're gonna get a card and they're gonna get a sticker just because they're from Ohio and people from Ohio need to see some black and gold. We hope you guys enjoyed that What's Sold video. Uh, a lot of cool stuff in here. Some of the sales were not, so, not the best, but we did have some good ones towards the end. It did pick up. We've been listing like crazy, so we're hoping to have a lot more sales here in the near future. Uh, we're trying to go through our death pile. And actually, I'm gonna show you real quick what the room looks like down here now because i know a lot of times when you guys seen the videos it's a mess you're probably thinking man it's he, he's a, it's messy but i'm gonna show you what it looks like now so we got pretty much everything cleaned up over here uh stuff that needs listed here but everything is actually organized 
everything is looking organized now a bunch of jeans need taking pictures of but look at this the floor is actually empty you can actually walk around over here and get to all the bins and everything that we have listed so it's kind of nice now uh super happy to have it cleaned up we worked really hard this weekend to really get everything in order but that is all we have for you guys for this one stay tuned for more videos we upload every tuesday and thursday with an occasional bonus video tossed in for you guys so until next time remember hit that subscribe button down below also hit that bell notification feel free to leave a comment and uh smash that thumbs up because it really helps out the channel until next time remember stay safe stay healthy and keep picking bye